My parents uh, were born and raised in the Netherlands and they uh, immigrated to the United States in 1954. Uh, initially they settled in Oak Park, Illinois. Uh, they had a little apartment on the third floor. Um, about a year later they bought a little house in Elmhurst in a south unincorporated area called Yorkfield. That was a small Cape Cod frame cottage. And my parents were survivors of the war. They lived in the Netherlands during the war. Uh, when the Nazis occupied, they were there. My dad um, hid out on a farm and managed to evade capture that way. My mom lived in Amsterdam. And that was really the memories, of course, that they live with and their lifestyle my very much reflected having that in their history and their background. So um, I think when things started getting a little tense here with the Cold War and with the, nuclear, with the uh, Soviet uh, threat, uh, I think my dad very much thought about the safety of the family and, and preparing for you know, what could happen. It's uh, hard to imagine, but I think in those days, uh, especially if they're having lived through one war, they, they were pretty convinced that this was a real possibility. Um, we have no photographs at all of the construction, uh, the whole process. I won't say it was hush-hush, it's a little hard to dig a big hole, but uh, they don't have much record of it. And I think that was by design. They, uh, um, coming from the Netherlands, they, they pretty much kept to themselves. They had the core group of Dutch people that they would um, uh, associate with, but neighbors and things like that, uh, they were not very uh, extroverted in that sense. They kind of kept to themselves. So they were, I think, a little bit afraid that uh, people would think them kind of kooks if they were building a bomb shelter. So, uh, you know, he barked on this project and uh, got it done. Um, neighbors really didn't know what was going on. I think that was by design. They felt a little awkward. People might think they were funny. But really, a big part of it too was if there really was an invasion or nuclear threat, um, they could only hold so many people. This was a small shelter and they were really afraid that everybody would come knocking on the door realistically saying, hey, you know, what about us? So uh, the bomb shelter was an interesting uh, structure. It, uh, we had the basement under the house and it was about two feet below that. Um, he fashioned it out along the side of the house. Uh, the dimensions were probably about 15 feet wide, I think, and about 20 feet long. Uh, had solid concrete walls. Uh, they were thick walls. It was a good 8, 10 inches thick concrete. Um, the ceiling was, I think, about 10 or 12 inches thick. Uh, very solid. And uh, because it was below ground level, of course, it was always a little bit cooler. So uh, even after they didn't use it anymore, need it anymore, um, we always stored food down there. All our canned goods were down there. We had shelves of cans and the kind of we stored uh, things down there. Uh, I do remember quite a bit about the inside of it. It was, uh, it was of course, concrete was cool. Um, there were two beds that fold down bunks on the wall that they would, you know, in case, again, the plans were what if we had to stay in here, how long would we have to stay in here? And there was a little manual operated crank fan. Uh, there was a, a vent pipe to the outside. Uh, there was an area um, in the wall that was, uh, it was poured concrete except for one area where it was cinder blocks. And we always had to keep a sledgehammer down there so that if we needed to escape or eventually get out of there and we couldn't go through the door, uh, we, could, we could hammer our way out of there. Uh, the door into the bomb shelter was a, a solid frame door with a steel plate on either side, very heavy door, and then it had a big huge bar that we could barricade and closed with. Uh, we always used to store, they stored water down there. Uh, they, I, I don't know how long he would plan to stay down there, but uh, we also, the house was connected, had its own well at that time because that was before uh, well and septic came to that area. And so uh, I think he was prepared that uh, he could survive if he needed to.